1915, a secret memorandum was presented to the British cabinet under the title, The Future of Palestine. It was drafted by Herbert Samuel, a British politician and Zionist committed to Palestine becoming a home for the Jewish people. In the document, Samuel advised that the time was not ripe for the establishment of an autonomous Jewish state in Palestine. He recommended instead that Palestine be annexed to the British Empire, describing this as the most welcome solution to the supporters of the Zionist movement. He expressed the hope that under British rule and over time, more Jews would settle in the land and grow into a majority among what he called the Mohammedans of Arab race. In 1920, the first British High Commissioner for Palestine was appointed. Controversially, London selected Herbert Samuel for the post. Samuel was a committed Zionist. Many suspected he would set out to implement what he had proposed five years earlier by favoring Jewish immigration to transform Palestine into a Jewish homeland. In 1922, the League of Nations formalized British rule in Palestine. The second clause of the British Mandate document approved by the League of Nations stipulated, the British mandatory shall be responsible for placing the country under political, administrative, and economic conditions that will secure the establishment of the Jewish national home. British High Commissioner Herbert Samuel decreed Hebrew as an official language of Palestine alongside Arabic and English. The letters E and Y were added to the word Palestine in Hebrew as an abbreviation of the words Eretz Yisrael, meaning land of Israel. Herbert Samuel, under the British Empire, was the one who created Israel, according to the law. He created the laws in about 100 laws لكي يمكن تسريب الأراضي العربية إلى يد اليهود ثانياً سمح لليهود بأن يكون لهم نظام تعليم منفصل عن نظام حكومة فلسطين وأهم ما عمله الإنجليز أن سمحوا لهم بأن يكون لهم جيش منفصل أنا أتكلم عن 1920 